Hey guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. Today I got a really good one here using Mangul's SERP Checker. And the thing that's cool about the SERP Checker is the SERP Checker is actually done for local SEO. And uh, you can use Mangul's local SEO platform here uh, to help you understand ranking. And here I have a keyword as a just a pure perfect example is 12 eggs a day testosterone. This is a keyword, right? And people are searching for this keyword uh, on a small amount, nothing too crazy, but people are searching for this. But you could see here, I rank in position number four for this with a blog that has effectively zero domain authority. One domain authority is no domain authority. I mean, let's be honest. Page authority is a three, no authority whatsoever. And you could tell here that um, I've ranked past a, a website that has 32 domain authority, 26 authority. This one has 70 domain authority. This one has 92 domain authority and so on. Um, so the reason why I'm showing this is because, first of all, this is a cool tool to use to kind of see how your links compare to others with certain domain authority. But more importantly, something to be aware of is that topical authority is more important than domain authority. And what topical authority means is just another word for saying do, uh, topical authoritativeness. You know, the, the information that you post in that article, in that blog post, does it sufficiently solve the needs of the reader, right? Does it sufficiently solve the needs of the reader? And that's important because every single blog that you create, don't act like you're creating homework assignment or doing a paper for school. You need to make sure that you're doing the very best job you can with this post because this post can make a difference between being in position four or being in position nine where nobody's seeing you. And like I said, guys, at the end of the day, Google is the great equalizer. It judges everyone equally. And what happens is, is there's so many metrics that are taken into account, right, to look at how successful you can become. And for me, with my blog post, maybe if we had greater domain authority, maybe we would have had a higher ranking, maybe, right? We can sit here and argue that. But at the end of the day, you're talking about a brand new article with zero respect in Google's eyes, especially from the search algorithm's point of view. Look at all these tools like Mangools, SEMrush, um, any kind of tool you want to list, right? Any kind of tool. All of them are going to agree that my website has no domain authority, but yet we're ranking, yet we're getting traffic, yet we're competing with some of the uh, bigger players in my industry. Um, maybe not in my industry, sorry, I take that back, but we're playing with the bigger players in my competitor list, and I fall the shortest one out of all of them, but yeah, I can still get some traffic. So the important thing here is, is that um, it's very clear, and this is a perfect example of this, right, is that the topic expertativeness, content on that topic, performed to its best ability, is going to create you better results than going out there and uh, trying to just complete as much content pieces as you can. In the game of, you know, blogging, of course, quantity is important, but quality is more important. And I, if I would say here, like, if I was to divide it into percentages, I would say 66% is quality of the content, right? Which is all about creating one really, really good blog post. But then 33% is the quality. So you do want to focus on quantity or quantity and quality. But like I said, uh, quality is more important than quality. Quantity, right? Quality is more important than quantity. Um, the number of blogs is not nearly as important as if those blogs are not performed well. They're not created well. They're not produced professionally. Um, they're not done correctly. And uh, like I said, this is just a perfect example of that. You guys know my blog. Let me actually put it out here. How to boost, let me see here, how to boost testosterone.org. This is a blog, right, on, you know, some basic topics here. And uh, the blog is relatively new, but yeah, I get traffic. So how is that? Is like I said, it's about the topic, the, the context of that topic. And if you guys want to see how I write blog posts, you can check out 
cashcowniche.sites.com, right? And this is, I'm not making this up. You can check this for yourself. You can go here, howtoboosttestosterone.org, right, is showing up position number four, right? Position number four. Not, I'm not at position one, but who cares? We're still getting traffic. And that's the whole point is that I always tell you guys, when you create a niche site, you don't need to be the winner all the time, right? What you need to do is you need to find niche topics that uh, some big dogs aren't competing in. You create those niche topics and you create content around them right? You serve a very specific need for a very specific audience. You charge for those products, right? And when you charge for those products, not only do you gain more profits, but you're serving a specific audience. You get money faster. You get traffic faster. Of course, you have a a lower ceiling, right? The invisible ceiling, but that doesn't mean you still can't succeed. And then once you feel like you've reached that ceiling within that blog or that niche site, you move on to another new site and another new site and so on. So I figured to make this video, like I said, more even as a source of inspiration. I mean, there's people listening here who probably just started their blog just like me, just like me. And uh, maybe they want to start and they want to succeed and they want to build and they don't believe that they can. But this should be live proof. This should be a perfect example. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. All right. Peace out. Bye.